Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. I'm here in the Magic Studio, I'm all on my own. I'm doing my solo series of £2.50p coin hunts. This is episode number three. If you haven't seen episode one and two, do, do go back and have a look. Um, but if you haven't, don't worry. You'll get, uh, we'll catch you up on what uh, on what I've found uh, what I've found so far. So we've got one one big book with uh, we're looking for a full set of fifty pences and a full set of two pound coins. I've got a two hundred and fifty pound hunt for you today. You're probably expecting that to be fifty pences, but it's not. It's two pound coins. And let's see where we are with the two pound coins. What have we got? Uh, nothing too spectacular in the first hunt, other than this London Underground Roundel. Uh, so it's pretty scarce that one. Pleased, uh, pleased with that. But we still need plenty more, so let's not concentrate too much on the book and kick off this two hundred and fifty pound two pound coin hunt. So these are from the the post office. They had in I think it was like three hundred and eighty pounds. I think it was something something along along them, them lines. But I needed to get some fifty pences as well, so I could only afford two hundred and fifty pounds worth of of two pound coins. So they went in, did me a lucky dip. And one of these bags will only have £10 in. So let's see how lucky that lucky dip was in this kind of mini hunt. Although I suppose I'm used to this normally with Lady M. And don't worry, Lady M will still be doing just as many coin hunts as she did before. This is just something a little bit different. A little bit of extra bungle for your book, I guess. Um, so yeah, this will be £250 worth of, oops, worth of £2, which I'm used to. So I won't be getting paid double time for this one. It'll just be... Standard. Right, let's dig in. Let's see if we can find some commemorative coins, the ones with the pictures on, and hopefully something to fill the book, and hopefully coins that are worth more than the two pound that's printed on them. Right, we're off. Yeah, these the these are ten pound bag by the looks of it. Just five coins in it. Is it going to be worth it? Have a look. Shoulders. Oh, we've got a kingdom coin that'll probably be united into one kingdom. Yep, so that will be the uh, Act of Union. We've already got that for the book, and that is in horrible condition. We're at the first find of this hunt. Standing on the shoulders of giants, and we've got a hollow crown there. Look for the Shakespeare history coin. So we've got both of them in the book, but at least we're off with the commemorative. Oh, there's the comedies. Again, we've got this one in the book. In quite nice condition, that. I'll put it next to the histories. Will we get though? There's another one. Will we get? Uh, will we get the hat trick of Shakespeare coins? Oh, there's one coming for the book. Not that one. We've got that one as well. Charles uh, Charles Dickens, but that one is. We'll go in the book to get rid of these. It is the Marconi Wireless Communications. Wireless Bridges the Atlantic. It's in horrible condition, but it'll do until we get another one and then we can we can switch it out. So a nice one, one for the book. Oh, look at that. <laughs> is that a hairband? No, no, just a multi-coloured, different coloured laggy band. This is gonna bring us some luck. Let's have a look. There's a shiny one there. Let's have a little look what we got. Standing on the shoulders, shoulders. Standing on the shoulders, shoulders. What's that one say? Shoulders, giants, shoulders. Standing. So they said, what's this end one? Will Wither. Wilfred. Owen, killer in action. What the heck is that? Eh? Not Noi, 4th of November, 1918. What the heck is that? Oh my, get in! Absolutely get in! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a not intended for circulation. It's the armistice coin. Get in, never ever, never ever even seen one of them. Not a clue. You absolute beauty. I tell you what, I'm going back for the rest tomorrow. The um, they just had to do a little bit of a do a little bit of a lucky dip, 
but you absolute, absolute beauty. Value, not really sure. It's, <sighs> let me know in the comments what, that, what that's worth. 20 quid, would that be, I'm really not, I really don't know. I know I certainly don't have it. I know if it was the Captain Cook for that uh, year, because in 2018, The Captain Cuff for that year was worth ooh, 20 to 30 pound at Wolves. Obviously, uh, bunk, brilliant done circulate. This has been in circulated condition. But that is absolutely fantastic. So I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's five in this series. The Navy, the Army. Um, this one. Kitchener. What's the other one? Can't think. Oh, the one, the plane. The... Um, with the biplane on it. Must be that one. It's the kitchen of the fifth one. Don't know. Get in. Who needs Lady M? Eh? Who needs Lady of M? Woohoo! There's a little beauty. One for the book. Great Fire London. Nice condition as well. The whole city in dreadful flames. Definitely going back to that post office tomorrow. What a piece of work as a man. There's tragedies, and that is indeed the uh, for the second hunt in a row, or the second of my uh, solo two pound hunts. We've completed the Shakespeare hat trick, the triple of. Oh, I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Absolutely over the moon. There is uh, not that. I mean, well, I am over the moon because we haven't got that yet. But the Trinity House. What a coin. What a coin. I can't wait to get back. So that was literally about another £160 in. Definitely going there first thing in the morning. Imagine someone's cashing. What else, what else could be here? What else could be here? And if I've missed out, if they've already gone, and hopefully they won't have done because it was, what town was I in? In fact, in fact, here's the story. They, um, she gave me too many. So I'd got the, I'd got me 50p, I'd got me two pounds, and I thought, there looks too many there. And I went to count them in the car, um, and I thought, yeah, there's about five or six bags too many here. So I took them back um, and explained, and yeah, she, she took them back. So this could have, that coin could have easily just gone back, and I would never, I would never have known if she just picked them out. How, how lucky is that? I'm over the moon, absolutely over the moon. I wish Lady M was here to share it. I suppose that's the downside of only doing it on your own. There's only us. And we've got Lady M there. Whoop. With. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe she'll watch this. I might actually watch some of our videos now. But uh, there's only me in it. You know, just to see what went on. Because, of course, she knows what goes on in... Uh... Ooh. No, I thought it was a rotator there. It's a nice condition. Uh... That's a nice condition, 2011, that. Not keeping a date, well, no, it's too expensive enough. Oh, there is another crappy uh, fake. Honestly, don't be wrong, that other coin makes up for it, like. But yeah, what what is it about fakes? So the port rate isn't horrendous. The IRB isn't horrendous. But uh, that certainly is, obviously, looks like it's got a rotation over it hasn't. But yeah, hologram is just... Doesn't have nothing holographic about it. You can kind of see that raised bit here. Oh yeah, there probably has been two bits of metal that. I don't think it's I don't think it's painted. Sometimes you see the paint, like the gold paint going into there. What's that like? Standing on the it's a bit ropey with shoulders. I should it should all be in the middle, but no definite definite fake. Well, I guess you take the rough with the smooth. But yeah, got a fake in the last hunt as well. And another history. It is the highest mintage out of the Shakespeare set. And we are getting plenty of them. In fact, we're getting plenty of the Shakespeare set full stop. Just have a little spin of that 2000 and... 15 coin there for rotations, but it is worth spinning every coin you've got to see whether it's rotated or if there's any little errors on it or uh, little 
anything that's just a little bit unusual. Any oddities. That's the Rugby World Cup. Not one for the book, we have already got that. It's the first one for this hunt. And another histories. It's a scourge of histories. Scourge. Ah, there's the Brunel Arches. I know we need that for the book. It's really, uh, really common, that one. Which the first, uh, took me two hunts to find it. And uh, another act of union. The Scottish thistle and the English rose there. Better condition than that first one. And we're on the last bag. So please do take the time to stick a, a like on the video. Definitely worth it with that, uh, with that NIFC. No two ways about it. Leave, uh, leave us some comments in there. Let me know I'm doing on me uh, on my own. But don't worry, Lady M will be, will be back. She will still be doing all the other coin hunts. If you want to get in touch, everything's in the description below. Please do consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Or if you, you've been around a while, then please get in there and subscribe as well. If you're not already, turn on that notification bell, etc. etc. Oops, I've just dropped, one. Just dropped a, a quid in the plastic. Uh, on, uh, sorry, a two quid in the plastic. Right, let's get, uh, oops, <laughs> sorry, you're excited. Let's uh, let's get some of these in the book so we don't want the histories or the tragedies or the doodars. We don't want the active union, we've got them, we've got a Charles Dickens, we've got a one of them. I need that, can't do that to fake. There are the ones that are gonna go in the book, so let's get uh, let's get them in. Okay, so the first page is already complete, apart from them four super duper rare Commonwealth games. We're doing all right there. We've got uh, four on that page. It's in, again, it's the rarer ones that we maybe haven't got the 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 Olympics and the King James Bible and the and the Mary Rose. What did we get there? We got uh, we got Trinity House, didn't we? Did we already have the Golden Guinea? I think we did. I think we did. And we've added the Great Five of London in there as well. So we're doing all right, considering we're only uh, a bag and a half in or two two episodes in. And let's just spend a little bit of time and reflect the quality of uh, of this of this find. You cannot underestimate what a truly spectacular find that is. Not intended for circulation. It should not be in here. Someone has, has got this either as a gift or in a um, or a set and decided that they wanted to take it out and spend it. It's been spent, it's been in circulation, and it's ended up in my post office and now in my album. Get in. Still don't understand what it says on the uh, on, on the edge bind. Say Alfred, Wilfred, Wilfred Owen killed in, an, in action. Fourth, is that the 4th of November, 1918? Wow. Smashing. Still got a really sharp edge. The, 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 the bunk coins, the brilliant uncirculated coins, they do have sharp edges. So it hasn't worn down. It hasn't been spent many times. Get in. What? What a find that is. What a find that is. What a plum. So let's get that into, into the album. Look there, plum. Oops. Do have a plum fine section look. I kept a couple of these inserts with the, the plum fine bit. I was gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take that plum fine insert out and put it in there because we will be doing well to beat that. That's for sure. Not sure how many were made. If I uh, I'll have a look. In fact, will he even been announced yet? 2018? Will the will the mint have announced how many they sold? Probably. I think yeah, 2018 is probably out to how many they're sold in the commemorative packs or if it is and I think on I'll I'll try and put it in. Oh, it's a new editing. I don't really know how to edit that or put or add text in. I'll try yeah, I'll try and do it. Um or if not, I suppose I could always leave it in the comments. Or someone so yeah, anyway, I'm waffling on. Absolutely over the moon. Little mini hunt, two hundred and fifty pounds. And uh, we end up with uh, some for the book and an absolute plum. Right, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.